Hello everybody, I'm Miko Sanchez and welcome to the season 2 finale of Logo Reviews. That's right my friends, we are down to the wire. The final episode of Logo Reviews for the season. But if you're not, because we're coming back in a few days time to start season 3 of Logo Reviews. We will unveil the official theme of season 3 at the end of this season. But right now though, everything must come to start. If you're ready for it, so am I. It's time to close out. It's time to close out news TV channels once and for all. This is it. The moment you've been waiting for. It's happening right now. Are you ready for it? Let's get started. For episode 50, the final episode of the season, we're looking at Newsmax TV. This is it, my friends. The final episode of the season is finally upon us. Can't wait to share with you, my friends, what's coming your way. It's going to happen here, and it's going to happen right now. For those who haven't seen episode 49 earlier today, we did take a look at Bloomberg Television. So if you want to go check it out, I'll put a link to the video up there at the top of my corner screen. So go click on the link up above and catch up anytime you want. Otherwise, sit back and let's finish this season once and for all. Ready? Here we go. Before, before we do images, on take for low PD criticals. Everyone, the images that you're about to see do not belong to me or to anybody else. So remember that. Got it? Good. But all that said... Man, that's good. Let's get started. Here's the show by for those of you who don't know what Newsmax TV is. Newsmax TV is an American conservative news channel owned by Newsmax Media. The network primarily focuses on opinion-based talk shows. It carries a news slash talk format throughout the day and night with documentaries and films on weekends. During the 2020 U.S. United States presidential election, it grew rapidly by broadcasting conspiracy theories and allegations of void and fraud. The channel was, was created by American journalist and Newsmax CEO Christopher Ruddy. It launched on June 16, 2014 to, 34 million satellite, to, to 35 million satellite subscribers through Red TV and Dish Network. As of May 2019, the network reaches about 75 million cable homes and has widespread streaming has wide streaming and digital media players slash mobile device availability, availability, including on Blue TV, the Roku channel, He's at News and War. The channel primarily broadcasts from Newsmax's New York studio on Manhattan meets, on Manhattan's east side, with two headquarters in Book of Return, Florida and Washington, D.C. And oh no, better source needed. Better source needed, my friends. I know. Newsmax TV holds a conservative leaning political stance, broadcasting many programs hosted by conservative media personalities. CEO Christopher Ruddy has, compri has compared the network to Fox News. The co company has hired many former Fox News channel program hosts, including Greg Kelly. Rob Schmidt, Bob Sellers, and Heather Ch Childers. The Washington Post described Newsmax as a landing spot for cable news personalities in need of a new home, citing the new citing the network's area of Mark Halperin and Bill O'Reilly following their resignations from other networks due to con controversies. Newsmax aired their personnel their programs under time purchase agreements, but O'Reilly is no longer affiliated with Newsmax. Oh boy! Oh, by the way, you want to go check out Fox News Shell? I did that on episode thirty one of of this series, so go check it out if you don't watch this video. So definitely could do so. But right now, moving on to the task. John name is Newsmax TV. John Red Conservative News. Launch date June 16, 2014. Owners of Newsmax Media. Headquarters are in New York City, New York, Boca Raton, Florida, and Washington, D.C. Not sure where their slogan is. Let me know in the comments below. Five question marks there. Website www.newsmax.com. The link will be in the description down below. So go check it out right now. But, for, but right now, though, before we get into the review, let's take, let's take a look at Newsmax TV logos over the years for the final time this season before we get into the review of Newsmax TV. Enjoy! Well guys, this is it. You saw the little history and, you, and, and nothing else about Newsmax TV. So now, let's review the Newsmax TV logo. So this Newsmax TV logo was introduced in 2021. Yeah, just just last year, my friends, it's still in use to this day. We just have Newsmax in blue text, and we have, and and the bottom left of the letter N is red, via a red shape. Yes, that's cut to that's cut in the letter N. Nothing else to say about it here, but not, but yeah, just all, yeah, yeah just yeah, play for uh, uh, play blue text. That's all there is to it. Nothing else to say. But yeah, not worth it at the end of the day. I'm so sorry for that. <coughs> But just, but just goes on to show you that nothing else is not off limits. So, be warned, my friends. You have been warned. With that, let's get into the final thoughts and rating for this Newsmax TV logo. That this is the final, um, this is the final rating for the season. We're doing it for the final time this season. So this is gonna be awesome. So, 
So what do I think about the new Spikes TV logo? Not a good logo. It, not, the, not a good logo at the end of the day, but so far, it's not worth it. Ooh, sorry. So how do I feel about that? Feeling, I feel a little weird and a little awkward, but nothing else to say about here. Just, just good old thoughts and clean times ahead. And so that's at the end of the day, I'm going to give the Newsmax TV logo a score of 3 out of 10. A very bad logo. Nothing else to see it yet. It's just plain blue text. Yeah, plain text. That's all there is to it. With a cut on the end at the bottom left. How could this be? They need to change their logo. And it's, it's going to happen pronto. Pronto. But yeah, that's just my personal conservative opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree. Any thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Bad way to close out the season. But that's okay, my friends. So we are done. Thanks for watching another episode of Logo Reviews and the final episode of the season. That's it. Season 2 is over. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be on the lookout for Logo History later today as we take a look at K Jewelers and the next episode of and the next entry in, in Buster's Day Diary Season 2 will be will be Day 13. Yeah, Day 13. Ouch, Lummox. So be on the lookout for that coming coming today. And also, the next episode of Logo History Moshi drops tomorrow. So Brace yourselves, so brace yourselves for that. I know you're going to love it, so get ready for it. And, and also, the next episode of, of Movie History, Walt Disney Animated Studios, is right around the corner. It'll be about Fantasia 2000. As for DreamWorks Animation, it'll be Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Plus, we got Season 2, Day 6 of the Motion Master League coming soon. And we got, and we have the season finale of San Rio Supremacy still in the works, my friends. Well, I'll let you know when it comes out. Plus, we have Logo History 2. Coming real soon, as we'll be taking a look at Warner Brothers Discovery, KSNV, KBCW, KNGTV, KCBQ, and Toonami. So be on the lookout for that as well. For now, though, I got it over here. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You be yourself, and I'll see you next season on Logo Reviews. That's the end of Season 2, my friends. Thank you so much for joining in today. I can't wait to see what, what the theme of Season 3 is going to be. Right now, you ready? Here we go. The theme of Season 3 is... Sports TV channels. Yes, that's my friends. The official theme of local history. Uh, oh, the official theme of local review season three is going to be sports TV channels. It all starts with this one, episode fifty-one, ESPN. That's right, my friends. We are going to start. Okay, that it'll be our season three opener. So join us next time for, for episode fifty-one as we kick off the new season with ESPN. <laughs> Feeling lucky? I thought so too. So get ready for it, guys. ESPN is is the logo that will kick off season three of Logo Reviews. So stay tuned for it. It's coming real, real soon. So th so do not miss it. Until then, before but before we get there, we got we got to do a compilation video that takes a look back at all twenty five logos from this past season. So so be on the lookout for that coming real soon. Until then, if you want to go catch on past episodes, now you can from Cartoon Network all the way up to Newsmax TV. All 50 episodes in general. I'll put a link to the playlist up there on the top right corner screen. So go click on the link up above and catch up anytime you want. Otherwise, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again next time for episode for episode 51, the season the season three premiere. As we take a look at ESPN. Until next season, guys, please remember to leave a like, share this video with your, with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to not miss a new video. Subscribe to notifications to not miss a new video for me as well to 1,900 subscribers. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for joining us for, the, for this incredible second season of Logo Reviews, focusing entirely on news TV channels. The next time I see you, we kick, we'll, we'll be heading over, we'll be switching over to sports TV channels. So, get ready for it, guys. It's going to be amazing. You are going to love it. But for now, though, all things must come to an end, and this video is ending. So, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys again next time. I'm Miguel Sanchez signing off for local reviews. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. Until next season, guys, like, favorite, subscribe. Until next season, I'll see you in another video. Laters!